Hello everyone, I'm Brandon with Lenovo and I'm here today with the ThinkStation P300 Tower Workstation. Today we are going to be replacing the front fan assembly. This process will take about 10 minutes and it should be easy enough for anyone to do. There are no tools required, but a pair of needle nose pliers might come in handy. Before we continue, we need to make sure that we are protected from electrostatic discharge or ESD. Make sure to shut down the computer and disconnect all cables and accessories from the system. For further information, watch our Understanding Electrostatic Discharge video by clicking the link in the description. Now that we're ready, let's get started. In order to remove the cover, we must first remove two thumb screws. So now we just need to press inward on the release button, slide the cover towards the rear of the system, and remove it. Disconnect the power button cable from the system board. Next, we're going to remove the front bezel. You just want to press outward on the three clips to release them. Now we're just going to swing the front bezel open like a door, pull the cable through the hole in the front of the chassis, and remove the bezel. To remove the front fan assembly, we must first disconnect the fan cable from the system board. So now we're gonna reach into the system and grasp the fan as we stretch the rubber grommets until they can fit through the holes in the front of the chassis. I'm using a pair of needle nose pliers, but your fingers will work just as well. Then we're just gonna pull the fan up and out of the system. Here we have our replacement front fan assembly. Now we're gonna place the fan into the system, aligning the rubber grommets with the screw holes in the front of the chassis. Then we just need to stretch the rubber grommets until they can fit through the holes. Now we're gonna connect the fan cable to the system board. Next, we're gonna place the bezel onto the system. First, we want to feed the cable through the hole in the chassis. I'm gonna reach on through the other side and pull the cable the rest of the way through. Now we just need to align the hinges with the holes in the chassis. Once you have those lined up, you can just close the bezel like a door until it snaps into place. Now we're going to connect the power button cable to the system board. Now when replacing the cover, you want to assure that the tabs on the cover align with the slots in the chassis. So you just line those up and then press the cover forward until it locks. And finally, we need to replace two thumb screws. 